in Exmouth, Shireen. Uh, what's the weather like over the next few days? What a difference a day makes, hey? Very good afternoon to you. We've had a combination of sunshine and showers this morning. This was how the day began in North Cornwall, the perfect recipe for a rainbow. And then just a few hours later on the Rain Peninsula, still we held on to that blue sky and sunshine, but variable amounts of cloud. We've had a rash of showers that have been moving their way eastwards across the south coast. That's brought some heavy downpours to parts of East Dorset, but that is now clearing. We've got high pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure over the Atlantic and we are wedged in between. So for tomorrow, brighter skies for the east, cloudier and wetter conditions for the west. And then on Thursday, we keep an eye on this area of low pressure, just edging its way in. That's going to bring us some brisk southeasterly winds on Thursday. For this afternoon, lots of blue sky, plenty of sunshine and dry weather. We have got some isolated showers moving south and eastwards through the course of the afternoon. Light to moderate winds and a maximum temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. As we head through the afternoon and into tonight, mostly dry conditions. Then we will see some cloud thickening and pushing its way into the Isles of Scilly, southwest Cornwall, but further east, drier conditions, light winds, it will be a chilly night, that temperature will fall in some areas to minus two degrees Celsius. So we start Wednesday on a cold note with the risk of Apache frost and we could see some mist and fog as well to start the day tomorrow, but drier and brighter in the east, but those showers moving in from the west and that cloud will thicken as well. Temperatures tomorrow, I think a little bit up on today, we draw in more of a southeasterly, so that maximum temperature 12 degrees Celsius. For the Channel Islands this afternoon, lots of of sunshine still with the risk of one or two showers light to moderate winds overnight they'll start to ease so a chilly night to come with clear skies and that minimum temperature falling away to just four degrees Celsius. So the risk of a frost to start Wednesday across the Channel Islands, the best of the sunshine in the morning tomorrow, and then that cloud will push its way in from the west and bring with it the risk of one or two showers. But the maximum temperature tomorrow, around 10 degrees Celsius. So here's your outlook then for the rest of the week. Drier and brighter in the east tomorrow, cloudier and damper in the west. Brisk winds on Thursday. We draw in more of a southeasterly air airflow and those winds could be strong on Friday as well. That's your weather, Victoria. Thank you. Thank you very much.